In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Minecraft Exit Code 1 on CurseForge. Now, there's multiple different reasons why this could be happening, and in this video, we take a look at the most common causes and solutions. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you are using the right version of Java because that actually plays a major factor. So, to do that, all you want to do is you want to go to your CurseForge app, then go ahead and select on settings just like so. Then, where it says game specific, please go ahead and select on Minecraft. And once you're over here, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and keep on scrolling down until you see Java versions. And then what you can do is you can go ahead and press on reset just like so. And then you guys can go ahead and choose the correct version of Java. So guys, here's the thing. If you're playing Minecraft 1.17 or above, that requires Java 17 or above. Okay, so Java 8 is not going to work. So if you're trying to run Minecraft 1.17 or above on Java 8, that is not going to work. You're going to need to go ahead and change it to Java 17. And also, while you are here, please go to this section where it says allocated memory and make sure that you did allocate enough memory for Minecraft. So some of these mods and mod packs can take up a lot of RAM. So I recommend that you guys go ahead and increase it. By default, it is going to be set to 4 gigabytes, but I recommend that you increase it to like 8 gigabytes. And that is definitely going to help you out significantly. And if you guys have been finding this video helpful so far, consider checking out our partners over at Simple Game Hosting. The Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft servers where you are easily able to make a unlimited slot 24 7 server for you and your friends the best part about simple game hosting is that they make everything beginner friendly you're easily able to download mods plugins and mod packs with a click of a single button there's also dozens of video tutorials showing you how to do everything along with 24 7 live customer support and at the moment they're currently doing a sale where everybody who gets a minecraft server gets 25 percent off their very first month of minecraft server hosting so guys if that sounds interesting feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comments all right guys that's enough yapping out of me so let's go ahead and continue on in this video so if you tried all these things and you're still running into issues what i recommend that you guys do is go to the particular mod or mod pack that is causing you issues so let's say for example the pixel mod pack was causing us issues we would need to go ahead and select on it and what you want to do is you want to press on these three dots then you want to go ahead and select on open folder once you're over here all you want to do is you want to go to your mods folder just like so and basically you need to check for mod conflict so exit code one often happens when mods are incompatible so if you try to like add extra mods and stuff like that please go ahead and remove it because that could actually be causing the issue so let's say for example you're trying to add sodium to a mod that already has optifine that is not going to work that is going to cause a conflict because you can't run those two mods simultaneously so guys if you added a bunch of mods please go ahead and remove them and then afterwards go ahead and try again and please update your graphics drivers if you're using shaders or resource packs exit code one can come from gpu crashes so please update your nvidia amd or intel drivers and if that doesn't work sometimes the files could get corrupted in general and in that case you would need to go ahead and delete the mod pack or mod from curseboard and then reinstall it fresh i know it can be a little bit complicated but you just need to go ahead and select on it then press on delete and i know it can be be very annoying but it is definitely something worth trying if you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe i'll see you in the next tutorial